Hello everyone. Today we are going to be looking at the fast Fourier transform in the image processing area. I hope that you have a basic uh, uh, background of the using Fourier transform. Let's start with MATLAB. First, we open new script and uh, save it as a name. We will, for example example of Fourier, Fourier dot M okay. first we should clear our uh, workspace or command history and the uh, command window by uh, following uh, commands clear all close all for closing all windows including figures and CLC for clearing your command window. Uh, next step, we should uh, read our image. I call my image as a, uh, I am data, and I we can uh, r uh, call our image by I am read function. Regarding to your uh, uh, MATLAB version, you need to put the direct name of the. Uh, the name of your uh, picture or uh, as my case you should put pass up your drive so I need to put <laughs> pass up my drive inside quotation um. I will use my own uh, photo because of the copyright problems. Okay. We call our image now. We want to see our uh, image before start to uh, sh see our uh, image. We need to mm, use figure for putting then to have a different uh, because we'll have a different figures and different uh, uh, tasks so we need to uh, call call any name for and, and any function so here I will use im I am show function to show my image so my image is I am data mm, data and also I would like to put title cause not uh, mixing those all those uh, picture I call it that original original image inside quotation let's see again okay sorry I forgot uh, now should works okay I forgot okay it's original image and uh, semicolon should not be forget next step is free transform and but uh, we need to have it uh, our image in the grayscale so I again write I am data my image so we want to convert our uh, RGB image to uh, gray what is our image is I am uh, data again semicolon <laughs> and now again figure two for I am show I am data but this time we have a title mm, title as gray gray image okay now okay this is 
is our first figure and this is second image so now we will work with this gray image next step now we need uh, to uh, get our Fourier transform uh, FFT2 stands for uh, Fourier transform in MATLAB so F we can put some comments here get Fourier transform of an image so we use F equal FF FFT two of I am uh, data the um, the Fourier spectrum is obtained by using the Fourier uh, the function ABS uh, stand for absolute value the function ABS computes the magnitude uh, I mean square root of the squares of the r uh, real and imaginary parts of the each elements of the, the array so mm -hmm. next step we need to use ABS function to, com to compute uh, the magnitude of an image S equal a b s of f so we can again put comments here as um, magnitude magnitude so we have here or magnitude or we can say for example mm, Fourier transform of an image so we use uh, absolute value to get the uh, Fourier transform of our uh, image now plotting our image uh, we again use figure now third train I am show okay we want to see as and the title as title we can say this as a title okay great okay we will see I am data okay we did some I am okay now Okay. As you see, uh, there is nothing interesting uh, here. Uh, nothing really exciting here because we can't see details. So uh, to get the, uh, we should uh, centralize our spectrum. For centralizing our spectrum, we need to use another function. It's called FFT shift. We can wait. Uh, yet the center. Center right spec 
Lightroom. In this case, we use uh, uh, FFT Shift, so I called FSH. FFT Shift of uh, FFT Shift of F. Figure four. And in and show now absolute value here of shifted uh, image and don't forget to put title to all those your images so this is our centered centered uh, Fourier Fourier transform of image okay let's see part okay we still uh, don't have uh, interesting things and uh, because and uh, because uh, we can uh, because values are so large and we are only at the 8 bit display so um, we have to do some sort of transformation and in this case we usually that's usually done by a log transformation here so uh, I will use log transform I can again apply log transform apply now s2 equal log 1 plus absolute value of Mm, FFT shift again figure it should be the fives figure and I am shown S2 should be log transform image and let's see now okay as you see now we have something to uh, to discover our image properties. Uh, in next videos I will talk about the how to read this image and which uh, information do we have inside this uh, transformed image. Mm. Next step is uh, we should uh, reconstruct our image. So first of all I should put again recons track the image. Is the image reconstruct?
object image first we should shift image uh, for uh, shifting the image uh, we use FFT shift now we should IFT shift uh, uh, that it is inverse of the FFT shift IFFT shift FFT shift S H S F equal for Fourier transform for inverse Fourier transform, transform we use I uh, F F uh, two F now we should display the image again figure now should be figure six I am show F I tell again we put reconstructed image ok let's see in figure 6 we can uh, reconstruct our uh, original image or not so I am planning to execute all program together Just now I will execute the whole program and uh, we will see all those uh, figures pictures together the first figure was my uh, original image then I converted to a gray image later on uh, we get the free transform an image um, but we couldn't have any uh, useful information so we try to centralize the word prayer transform because some uh, information are missing in the corners in of the image and uh, later on because of the um, uh, uh, some values are so large so we uh, and we were only at the 8-bit display so we decide to use another transformation it's called log transformation to see uh, more details and uh, it was our f uh, 5 figure and the final with uh, uh, we reconstruct the image and we got our uh, original image thank you for watching and see you in next uh, videos I will put these codes uh, uh, in the uh, comments